whatever work needed to be done that day, whether it was physical or mental, then that was what we did and we left it behind and moved on to the next day and we just slowly built ourselves forward day by day. Yeah, um, it was certainly a goal for us um, to reach the top of the podium at Nationals and um, you know, we celebrated in January and um, we've kind of closed that chapter of our career. Um, it was a great accomplishment and we're very proud of ourselves. And it definitely, it, there was a lot of work that went into that moment. I mean, why are we doing this if we're not going to go to win? So yeah, we're going to go and we're going to win. Um, and then it was about building a mentality and a mindset and a life and an understanding around the fact that we are champions, regardless of if we have a gold medal around our neck or a bronze medal. Um, and so it wasn't really anything to do with keeping motivated every day. It was just taking one day at a time and whatever work needed to be done that day, whether it was physical or mental, then that was what we did. And we left it behind and moved on to the next day and we just slowly built ourselves forward day by day. Being a champion is, is a lesson that we've learned so much since moving to Montreal. Um, it's something that I think Marie France and Patrice held in their own career. Um, and it's something that they give to all of their students is um, kind of a different way of thinking about the, the, your career in skating and you have to set your goals and you have to define what it means to you to be proud. Well, we're trying to um, kind of redefine what we're, we're, what we're doing on the ice and, and what the goal is, not just for placement, but um, every time that we're going out to skate, um, what it's supposed to mean to us. I think it's kind of like I, I talked about a little bit last year, was it's about legacy. Um, at the end of your life, how do you want to look back? And whether it's skating, whether it's your job, whether it's your relationships, whatever those important things are to you, how did you carry yourself through them? Did you give it your all? Were you fully committed? Were you able to enjoy your life? Were you happy with your decisions? Um, I think that's kind of what we're basing all of our next moves on is the idea of that legacy. Yeah, I think it's important um, to realize that for us, our passion <coughs> is skating. Um, but you know, each person has a, a different passion and and somebody can relate to watching us skate by comparing it to whatever they're passionate about. Um, we live every day choosing what we're going to do and being really active in the moment. And um, so for us, skating is that freedom of being able to live the life that we want. We're not really focused on the future. Um, like, Nationals is... I don't, I don't know the dates of any competition after this yeah. one. I don't even know what date it is today. I'm literally <laughs> so not caring or even like worried about what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, I couldn't give you one date of any of our competitions this year. And I think that's kind of what helped us find some success last year was everything we took, we were present to what was happening then. Um, we have new programs. We're a new team. We're re rewriting who we are as people and as athletes and performers and um, yeah, I mean, last season ended in when, when, did Mark, when did Worlds finished? Beginning of April. So yeah. um, I, I can't honestly tell you that there's very many times that I even look back at anything that happened last season. Um, we're just very grounded in, right now. We don't know what the future holds and we don't know precisely what, what we're going to do from here on out. Um, but we're trying to hold ourselves like champions through that unknown and and we're really excited for what's going to come next and it's kind of cool to be in this space where we don't know what's going to happen.